Apti Alodinov, the commander of the Chechen Akhmat Regiment fighting for Russia, said in a video that Russian conscripts should go to the front and those who will be killed in Kursk Oblast will go to heaven. Alodinov himself isn't fighting on the front. Addressing the conscripts' parents, Alodinov said that Russia is currently under attack by the enemy and everyone must stand the line. If your 18-year-old children, who are already in the defense ministry, they are servicemen, should not defend the homeland, even when it is attacked by the enemy and when the enemy is on our land. I have one question for you. Why does this country need you and your children? Said Alodinov, a close ally of Chechen warlord, Ramzan Kadyrov and an official at the Russian Defense Ministry in a video published on Telegram. No one will die who is not destined to die. But if you die defending your homeland, your faith in God, you will go to heaven, he added. Alodinov said that he understands only those parents who are dissatisfied with the payments for conscripts offering them to sign contracts. The commander of Akhmat recalled Putin's promise that conscripts would not participate in the war. But today is war. The enemy has come to us. Today in our country, everyone from the youngest to the oldest must stand in formation. No one will die who is not destined to die. But if you die defending your fatherland, your faith in God, you will go to heaven. And what could be better for a person than heaven on the path of the Almighty? Nothing! After the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region, it turned out that the border there was covered only by territorial defense, border guards, and small military units, including conscripts. According to the Washington Post, more than 250 conscripts were eventually captured, despite Putin's promise not to send conscripts to the war and appeals from parents demanding that their sons be taken out of the combat zone, conscripts in the region were not sent from Kursk Oblast to other regions. Moreover, conscripts from other regions of the country began to be transferred there, which parents complained about. A devastating tornado struck the coast of Palermo, causing the sinking of the 56-meter sailing yacht Bayesian, with 22 people on board. The incident occurred near Porticello, a small seaside town in the Palermo province in Sicily. According to local news outlets, rescue efforts are currently ongoing, with Italian authorities confirming that 15 people have been saved by Coast Guard patrol boats and firefighters. However, six individuals remain unaccounted for, and the body of one victim believed to be a man has already been recovered near the wreckage. Jonathan Bloomer, the international chairman of Morgan Stanley, and his wife are reportedly among the missing after the Bayesian yacht. Bloomer and his wife are believed to be among those unaccounted for, Italian authorities said, along with British businessman Mike Lynch and his 18-year-old daughter Hannah. The British-flagged Bayesian had guests and crew of various nationalities on board, including British citizens, a New Zealander, a Sri Lankan, an Anglo-French individual and an Irishman. Among those rescued was a one-year-old child, who has since been transported to the Children's Hospital of Palermo. Other survivors are being treated at local hospitals, including a mother and her young daughter, who are receiving care at the same children's hospital. Search operations are intensifying as divers and Coast Guard teams comb through the wreckage and surrounding waters. Helicopters have also been deployed to aid in the search from above. The remaining missing individuals include the yacht's cook, four British nationals, a Canadian and an American.